The newest Pokemon Ultra Premium Complexion just dropped and it features Mew, the 151st Pokemon for the 151 set. The collection is premium, the price is premium, let's see if the hits are also premium. Hello everyone and welcome to another Less Than Gosha video. Today we are going to be opening up the 151 Ultra Premium Collection. That is right, this baby just dropped the past couple of days. It is a very premium price point of $120 retail, but if you can get it for less, the sweet spot I would say is around $100 and you can at various locations. You just gotta do a little bit of digging and a little bit of research. But if you can get it at that $100 mark, I think this is an excellent product to buy when it comes to the 151 set. You're gonna get 16 packs, three amazing promos and a bunch of other goodies. And we're gonna check them all out here today. The promos alone are just gonna probably be worth it. Um, but again, you're gonna get those packs and if you can get it around that $100 price point, the pack to cost ratio isn't really that bad. And if you've been having trouble with your pulls like I have and most of us have, especially when it comes to the booster bundles or as I like to call them, booty bundles, then this might be something that you would be interested in. It is a little more expensive, so it might not be affordable for everyone. But again, if you are someone who's going to be putting in the funds and the effort to complete a master set collecting every single card this might be the thing to go for but let's open this up check out all the contacts and at the end rip some packs okay so normally i open up the product that i'm going to be looking into beforehand and then have everything ready during the start of the opening but because there are a lot of extra goodies in here more so than an etb that we for sure want to keep a, uh, a look at we're gonna open it up together. So let's break into it, shall we? So again, this is the Ultra Premium Collection, or you'll hear me call it many times from here on out, UPC for short. Uh, again, it is a more expensive product. That's why it is considered a premium, even an ultra premium, uh, but it does come with a lot of cool things. Pokemon Company does tend to bring these collections out every so often. The last one we saw is the Charizard one. And so you can see right there, I've got one. I do hope to eventually have a sealed version of this as well, but uh, I haven't picked one up yet. So let's enjoy this. Oh, so there we go. There's all the contents. It's snugly in the box there. It actually looks really good. Presentation's a lot better than the Charizard UPC. The other, there were two other Ultra Premium collections that came out. There was a Sword and Shield one that featured uh, Zacian and Zamazenta. I did not open that one. And of course, the very difficult to find, uh, the Notorious Celebrations UPC, which pretty much no one was able to find. And at this point, it's about gonna cost you $400 to purchase. So we're not gonna touch that. At least I'm not going to. But yeah, the presentation looks fantastic here that's in the bottom of the box. And then right there are our three, let's see if we can get it better, there you go. Three promo cards, which look just awesome. And I think the Mew in the middle, the gold one is actually a metal card. And I do like how they are presented here. Hopefully they're easy to remove and hopefully the quality control is not too bad because a lot of these promos, especially in the Charizard UPC were awful. Uh, they were, Terrible centering, had a lot of nicks and whitening on them, but let's see, let's see how we open them up here. Oh, it looks like this whole thing just comes out. Put that down there. That looks really cool. Just comes right out like that. Not sure how you put the cards out though. Hmm. Oh yeah, here we go. So this kind of opens up in the back. Oh, actually, I guess this is kind of like a stand. That's actually really cool as well. Again, I'm not sure how we get the cards. Oh, right from the top there. Here, let's do it. That's pretty cool. This is very well done. 
here's the first one, the Mewtwo. Kind of looking over the city there. That is a that's a sick card. Um, centering actually is pretty good, all things considered. A little thicker left to right, but lightning not bad either. Very cool. All right, now let's get the the Mew out. And there, that has the code card too. This code card I will keep for myself. The rest of the packs I will give out to you guys. But that's nice. Again, the centering actually, not too shabby. I'm a bit impressed. And then let's see, it looks like, yeah, this is a metal card. I know this one's tough to get out though, because it is stuck in there. I do want to get it out, so. We can take a look. Let's close this for now. It's got decent weight to it. For a metal card, though, it actually looks really cool. Very well textured. Let's check the back out. Oh, that's awesome. I guess you can grade these now, if I'm not mistaken. The Celebration, Charizard, and Pikachu, I think you were able to send a PSA. Uh, I've never... Oh, you can see, though, right here, there's like a little bit of a ding. Actually, it looks like there's, it's like a bleed. It's like some red ink on top of there. That's kind of weird. It's not a ding at all. Very cool though. Like I said, I have not opened up the Celebration Shoe PC, so I've not seen one of these cards up in person before, but it is really nice. Really well produced. Cool. Like I was saying, the promos alone to me is worth picking up at least one of these, especially one to, op you know, to open up and enjoy. Um, I used to go pretty hard on sealed collections. I don't as much anymore. I still collect ETBs. Um, Sword and Shield, I have all the regular ones. And then behind me, uh, this way. Now I'm getting the Pokemon Center ETBs. Uh, aside from that, though, I'm not collecting too much other sealed product. The UPCs, though, I probably will. I'll, I'll attempt to pick one of these up for the sealed collection, but... Here. Oh, again, very well put together in this nice little plastic container. You've got all of your damage counters, dice. That Mew coin is really sick. And a 151 hard box container. There is a gamepad featuring 151st Mew. Very fitting. And then the second best part of this whole thing, aside from the promos, packs, 16, 151 packs. Now let's see, if you saw my last video, you could tell I did a little experience about weighing. It didn't actually pan out as I thought it would. It doesn't seem like it's super obvious to be able to tell which packs have the hits based on their weight. So that's actually a really good thing. It looks like these are pretty evenly distributed. It doesn't seem like there's too much of a gap between each of them eight and eight so now yeah we've seen all of the contents of the upc let's check out the packs see if they have some hits and continue to work on our master set of 151. So we have everything set we have our 16 packs that we're going to go through and for now we'll keep the beautiful promos out for us to see in the background hopefully we'll get enough hits where we can kind of move those to the side but have you been if you have been seeing my videos or anyone else's you can tell that the hits in this set are brutal they are very difficult to get anything good i opened up 12 packs in my weighing video and even though we did get the special illustration rare of venusaur it was that in one ex that's 12 packs not great let's see if we can do better in this opening and hopefully continue to add some cards to the master set Starting off with a gold psychic energy right off the rip. All right, Gengar behind it. So we already do have the Mew gold card. So that is, I think I would consider the coolest. So to get another one right off the rip, it's beautiful. Well on our way to the master set. Not really, but at least this does help. And I am happy we can move this over now. We'll add to that. I'm a little happy. I would really hope with the price tag of this product, you get a little something. Now, of course, 
it's all random in terms of the hits and what you get in the packs. Maybe throw a little something in there for you if you're dropping all that money on this product. I'm really hoping that the hits are also at a premium. Good start for sure. We follow it up, make it two for two. We can, we can make it two for two. A War Turtle illustration rare, which is one we don't have. And a Jinx. Wow. Three hits, two packs. We're starting off really strong in this opening. This is fantastic. Both also cards that we don't have. But we already have to move the promos off to the side, which is a wonderful problem to have. Actually, we'll move the Jinx. We'll keep the you 2 there. Jinx, you can, can kind of chill over to the side there. All right, so I don't know. Maybe this is the best product to buy. Again, if you can swing it. I do understand that for... Oh, nice. Still, we need that leaf energy. The leaf hollow is what we're looking for. Um, I do understand with this product being a premium one um, and that coming with a price tag that is quite a bit higher than any other product you can buy. It might not be available or affordable for everyone. And all right, our first non-hit. I think that's OK. We'll live. Um, so yeah, I hope if this is something you're interested in, you are able to find a way to grab one, whether it is to open or to keep sealed, because it is a really cool product. Um, I wish they would drop the price a little bit. Um, again, you could probably find it uh, for about a hundred bucks. There are uh, places available where it's down to close to that, if not already. The Charizard UPC, that dropped real quick. At points you could get that for about 80. And star me. Because uh, it would be nice for, you know, younger people um, in the hobby or even those who are balling on a budget to be able to at least have one of these. At the very least, or worst case, I should say, hopefully you can live vicariously through this video. And Erica's Invitation, that is another very strong pull. One that uh, we already do have, but the waifu game is strong in Scarlet and Violet. And a lot of people are really liking these full art trainers more than ever. So we'll put that a little off to the side. You can see Erica here. Another good hit. All right, so far so good. By far, I I think we can see to say the best the best hits from a product that I've had at least so far. Uh, hey, and there's the Grass Hollow Energy. Awesome. All right, we're really even the not major hits are coming through for us here. The other hollows that I need, the only two left, are the Mewtwo and the Dragonite. So I could. I could use one of those too, perhaps. It'd be nice. Maybe right now? No, that would have been too perfect, huh? <laughs> Alright, almost done with the first half of the opening, and it really couldn't have gone any better. I didn't know hollow energy that time. Oh, let's see, come on. One more hit would be. Awesome, and Nido King. Wow, that's Mewtwo and Dragonite. Real difficult to come across. Open quite a bit. I'd say close to 100 packs. And I haven't got either one of those. We're not going to get any other crazy special illustration rare then. One of those hollows would be really nice. Hypno, Golbat, and Bioplume. So at least not in the first half, but for eight packs to get War Turtle, Special Illustration Rare, a gold card, even though it's just an energy, an Erica Invitation, Full Art Trainer, and an EX too. That's that's great. Let's see if the second half can prove any better. 
if I can give my stamp of approval as this being the best 151 product overall. Open up that pack, it'd be even nice. There we go. And hopefully you're getting something if you are a fan of the online game. Hopefully you're getting something from those codes. Let me know if so. I don't know if any of these cards are actually viable within the game. Wow, another gold card? That is sick. Two gold cards in one product? Whoa, the Switch Gold? Let's go. I think we're close to almost all the gold cards. Yeah, I think uh, I think it's a wrap. UPC, <laughs> best product for 151 to buy. At this point, I can for sure say keep an eye out. If you can get it on the cheap, or cheaper. Oof. Easy. Easy. The best pull rates out of anything. Wow. I don't think there's ever been a product where I've gotten two gold cards. The first total. Nice. And a tan Angela illustration rare. Another one we do not have. This is really sweet. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Now this is a pack opening that we can enjoy. First time in a in a while. Usually my luck is terrible. Nope, and a nice hollow water. We could get a Charizard. That's too much. Not, not now I'm being uh, a little too greedy. I think as of right now. This is good enough. I think this is good enough. We still got about, it looks like five packs left. Um, one of those hollows would be sweet that I keep on talking about. Um, maybe a full art. Well, we did get a full art trainer, so maybe not a full art Pokemon, but one of those hollows would be pretty nice. Is it possible? Psyduck. And a Golem EX. Hey, another card that is not in the master set. So we've been we've been doing great with filling in the binder today. Sometime soon, I think I will be doing a video, kind of an update of where I am with the master set. Um, check it out the binder, see what's missing, open up some packs, see if we can fill it in. Uh, I'll do that not only with 151, but also with the other sets that I have tried to master throughout the years. Um, Evolving Skies, Lost Origin, Brilliant Stars, and Crown Zenith. Although Crown Zenith, I only have like, I think two cards and that's it. So Dragonair, Venonat, will the Dragonair evolve into Dragonite? Nope, but Daisy's help, Full Art Trainer. That is number two dose. I think we have Daisy's help Full Art though. But wow, two full art trainers, two gold cars, two special illustration rares. I mean, you can't get much better. Should go to Charizard. But I didn't say anything. You can't, you really can't get much better. This opening has been fantastic. Um, let's see if we can end strong. One more of anything, even an EX would be be insane. Marowak still can't get the Mewtwo or Dragonite though. Two packs left. We will have completed the Ultra Premium Collection for 151 featuring the 151st Pokemon Mew. Although you do get Mewtwo as well, so. Oops, like a tongue. We don't care about you, no offense, buddy. Kuna, the Voltorb, and there's the Mewtwo. And I mean, I did say, so far, everything that I've asked for, we're going to put him right there. Everything I've asked for has come to fruition. Okay, we did ask for good hits. We got it. We did ask for one of the two hollows are missing. We got it. Now, I'm going to ask Charizard. Charizard. It can even be the EX. 
I don't want to be too fidgety. Well, I already am. I know that. <laughs> Let's see. Nice. If my psychic move is super effective or not. Magikarp. Oddish. Cycling Road. Scyther. Charmeleon. There we go. It's a sign. PG. Venonat. All right. So it. It's either going to be a full art or the EX. Okay, so we didn't get it, but there is no reason to be disappointed. There's a recap. Golem EX, Jinx EX, Daisy's Help Full Art Trainer, Erica's Invitation Full Art Trainer, War Tortle Illustration Rare, Tangela Illustration Rare, Switch Gold Card, and a Basic Psychic Energy Gold Card, and of course, U2 promo, Mew X promo, and the Mew X gold. Well, there you have it. That is the 151 Mew Ultra Premium Collection. It was a great opening. The promo cards are fantastic. The presentation is amazing. And the pulls, which are going to vary from person to person, but for me, someone who normally has awful luck, they were spectacular. So like I said, the product's premium, the price is premium, but the hits ended up premium as well. So I would highly recommend this product if you're able to get your hands on it. I do understand that the price point might be a deterrent for a lot of people, uh, but be on the lookout for any sales, especially with Black Friday coming up in a month or so. Hopefully it is something that will go on sale that you can get your hands on. It was a lot of fun opening it up today. And if you did enjoy watching the opening, Please consider subscribing, giving that thumbs up, and dropping a comment down below because I love to hear from you. Thanks again, everyone, and have an amazing rest of your day.